I y'all hope you guys are ready to learn the switch statement a very cool way and see that you can pretty much take a variable and test it against several different possibilities or options now this is kind of the same as an if else if else statement but it's a lot cleaner syntax and you can do a couple um, different and cool things with it as well so in this example I'm just going to be taking a grade like a student's grade A, B, C, D, or F and um, using that to test because we know we have limited options it could only be equal to one of those five letters so let's do that right now so char grade set this equal to C and now here is the syntax for the switch statement you type the word switch and then right after it you type what you're going to be testing so what is the variable that can have those possibilities well it's grade it can have one of five possibilities which is the letters a b c d and f so in between curly brackets in between these are where we're going to be explicitly writing all of those possibilities that could have so in order to do that we use um kind of a weird syntax we type the word case hit a space and then type the value that it could possibly be equal to so again the first thing is a now after this add another space and add a colon not a semicolon just a regular colon now you can pretty much read this like a sentence so it's saying test grade to see what it's equal to in the case of a colon what do we want to happen well after the colon you can type either just one single statement um, a bunch of statements as many statements as you want just like you would inside an if statement so what I'm gonna do is just pretty much print something out on the screen what would we say to the student who got an A I don't know I just say something stupid like sweet and I don't know why it says sweat with the AMT accidentally hit caps lock there but I'm just gonna leave that okay so apparently if the student got an A we're gonna yell sweat to them why I don't know who the heck cares now after this under the statement right here I'm gonna add the keyword break and once I get done with this entire switch statement I'm gonna explain to you guys why I did that because if I just say it right now it's not gonna make sense so this is what you do if the student gets an A. Yell sweat to them and then just add this keyword break, whatever that does. So on the next line, we need to build another case. So in the case of B, we need to print out something else other than sweat. We'll say, um, could have tried harder. You know, we gotta be rough on the kid. You know, that's parenting 101. Don't take it easy on them, never okay so now got a couple other ones to take care of C okay what would you say if your kid got a C well I would say I see you didn't study and that is why I am not dead because I wouldn't make a very good one because I would always use puns when I should be you know actually having a conversation with them but whatever alright now what would you say if they got a D well, I would tell my kid is that's embarrassing. Is that how you spell embarrassing? I hope so. If not, well, that is embarrassing. How ironic is that? Now for F, um, what would you say in the case of a F? I would be uh, actually let's do this. Let's say in the case of F, we just tell them that that's embarrassing, and if they get a D, just tell them that you love the D that again thank God I'm not a father right now now what this switch statement says right now is this test this character right here if it's an A do this stuff if it's a B do this stuff so we can pretty much see the syntax of it right now however when all your cases are done we're gonna add one last case and that's default now what this um, keyword basically means is if you go through the options A, B, C, D, and F and this character isn't any of those then run this statement by default. So 
what if we tested every character and none of them equal A, B, C, D, or F? Well, then that grade like wouldn't even make sense. So it'd be like, that doesn't even make sense. Explanation mark. Why the heck not in a new line? Now, if we run this right here, check it out. Right now, it's C. So it said, okay, I'm going to test this. In the case of A, print this out. Well, it's not A. It's not B. It's C. So what do you want me to do since it's equal to C? Well, just print this out. I see you didn't study, which it did right here, and then break. So if we added something else like, I don't know, what's even not a letter, like P, and then we ran this, what this program is going to pretty much read like is, okay, you want to test the grade. Is it equal to A? Nope. B? Nope. C? D? F? Nope. So by default, if none of these cases are true, then this is what you want me to do. And it just says that doesn't even make sense because P is not a grade, so that's what happened. So the only other thing we need to figure out right now is what the heck does this break statement mean? So let me go ahead and type B in there so we you know, forget about the P and check this out. What this break statement means is just like a loop, it pretty much breaks out of it or discontinues it early. Now, why would we want that? Well, it pretty much is good for um, speed. And well, let me tell you what it does first. The reason that we want to break early is because we found our answer. There's, so there's no need to test if it's C, D, or F. Once we found the case we're looking for, why would we even want to run these? Because we know they're not going to occur. So what break does is say, OK, once you find it, skip over all of these and continue. Pretty much just helps you save memory and uh, makes your program run a little bit faster. So that's what the break does. Again, you already know the break keyword, so you probably already understand it. So hopefully you, now you guys got a pretty good grasp on the switch statement. And in the future tutorials, I'm going to be showing you guys another way that this is incredibly useful. But for now, um, I actually have nothing to say. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later.